We do know that it is imminent. That's according to South Korean and U.S. authorities. We also know that they have moved two missile launches to the east coast of the country. That happened some days ago and that they fueled them uh, today. That is uh, the reports that, that we are getting uh, from uh, South Korea. So what does that mean? It means that they are, are ready to go, that this is a, a, a Musudon uh, missile. It's of medium range, can travel up to 4,000 kilometres. That would obviously take in South Korea, Japan and uh, potentially US bases uh, in Guam. Now, Yes, it's imminent, but it also could happen in the coming days. A significant date that is coming up is the anniversary of the birthday of North Korea's founder, Kim Il-sung, who, of course, is the grandfather of Kim Jong-un. A very significant uh, date indeed. So perhaps, you know, that is when they will fire these missiles as well. It's very important to note, Rosemary, that this is a test. Uh, the North Koreans have said that this would be a test, not a strike. No one thinks that this is going to be a strike on, on South Korea or any other uh, country in the region. So that is very important to note. But if this does take place, it will be seen as a provocative action by uh, the belligerent nation and uh, will obviously require some sort of, uh, you know, a repercussion consequences from the international community, whether it be further sanctions or further condemnation, Rosemary. Yeah, indeed. And of course, if it's a, a test fire, we don't know what's going to happen. North Korea doesn't know either, does it? So it's the panic that could ensue. And, and Anna, I wanted to ask you, because South Korea's Fisheries and Oceans Department usually uh, is uh, notified by North Korea if they're planning a test uh, to test a missile like this. This hasn't happened this time around. What does that t tell us? Does it signal anything? Well, I think it means one of two things. Either North Korea is posturing. Perhaps this is, is more bluster as far as, as North Korea is concerned. Remember, we have had a month's worth of warlike rhetoric coming out of Pyongyang on a daily basis. Or perhaps it says it's not playing ball this time. As you say, in the past, they have contact, to, contacted maritime and aviation international authorities, but it hasn't happened uh, this time. If it was to go ahead, if this missile test was to go ahead and they weren't to contact those authorities, it would certainly be perceived as very reckless behaviour. And we're also finding about, out about these secret uh, back-channel talks between the United States and North Korea. What, what have you learned about that? Yeah, not unusual, which is quite interesting, uh, considering uh, the words coming out of, of Pyongyang and also coming out of the United States. But yes, these talks do happen. It's not unusual. Uh, the talks that you are specifically referring to happened with the U.S. envoy to the six-party talks uh, with the North Korean deputy U.N. ambassador in New York back in March. So apparently a message was relayed from the United States to stop the provocations and uh, begin diplomacy. Uh, the North Koreans apparently said that they would pass on that message. Well, as we've since learned after that uh, meeting took place, that uh, UN sanctions were imposed, uh, punishing North Korea for that third nuclear test back in February. And obviously, uh, the rest has, has followed. So uh, perhaps it sort of shows that uh, the, the message may have been received, but uh, it certainly wasn't acted upon. Yeah, looks that way. And Anna, just before you go, I mean, of course, you've had an opportunity to talk to so many people there. What, what's the mood there as the tensions rise? You know, Rosemary, it might seem a little strange to the outside community, but, you know, people here in, in Seoul, you know, are not really phased by what is going on, you know, to the north of the border. And, and the reason being is that they have been living with these hostilities for the last 60 years. You know, that was uh, when the armistice was signed back in 1953. And, and, and since then, the two Koreas have really uh, technically still been at war. So I, I think people here in South Korea are aware that a strike, uh, I beg your pardon, that a, that a missile test is imminent, but it certainly won't be a strike.